Have you ever experienced whereby you do IVF or you do IUI or you do natural conception, you get pregnant? Have you ever experienced whereby you test positive? Two, three, four, five days later, you start seeing clotted blood coming out from your body. That is what I called spontaneous abortion. At times, it happens mostly in IVF. People will do procedure, two weeks have been waiting, anxiety is very high, emotion is very high. Oh, congratulations, I said stress positive. Before two weeks or six weeks that they will do scan to know whether the pregnancy, how many terminating, I mean, how many come down as pregnancy, they transfer three. Instead, started complaining, I'm having cramp, I'm having cramp. Before you know it, blood started coming out. That is spontaneous abortion. It can happen for IUI, IVF, and natural conception. Patient will test positive few hours. It starts seeing blood. Okay, let's talk about it. What is the problem? The problem is in two ways. For a woman to have spontaneous abortion, First scenario, if the sperm that fertilized the egg has a damaged DNA, fertilization will take place. A few days later, the pregnancy will drop because some genetic information from that sperm that fertilized the egg, created the embryo, will be missing to proceed. The, the gestation. That is the first scenario. The second scenario is if you have experienced spontaneous abortion before, it means the problem will come from the endometrium, the lining of the womb. Embryo burrows into the walls of the endometrium, the uterus, start germinating, I put it that way. In our own language, it's implantation. Because implantation starts and complete, then beta CG signal will be sent to blood. Pregnancy test will be positive. But as soon as the embryo start implanting inside the endometrium, the walls of the womb, the body starts reacting negatively to that process as if the embryo that is germinating inside the womb is a falling body. Then the womb starts attacking it. That is what we call immunologic reaction. Bam. The embryo now busted. That is when to be seen blood. So when any woman has experienced, whether in IVF, IUI, or natural conception, you experience spontaneous abortion, your matter is in two ways. Either the sperm or the womb. Professional can investigate. There are some tests they will do to investigate where the problem is coming from. Is it that they go ahead and do semen analysis and spam DNA for man, the husband? But the wife will do some panels of tests, which include but not limited to, not limited to Easter Dao, thyroid function test, progesterone, and IgE, IgA of rubella. That one will let us know what happened whereby you experience spontaneous abortion. To all women who have lost circle, who have, have lost IVF procedure, IUI procedure, and natural conception to spontaneous abortion, I want to pray for you that God will correct everything in your body. You will test positive again. That one will germinate, you will implant, and you will carry it to time in Jesus' name. But do the right thing. 
They do test for your husband. They do test for you. My name is Wojadi Kendi Samuel. I'm a practicing fertility scientist, a fertility content creator, and a brand ambassador for fertility. If I come your way next time, God is good. Bye.